Welcome, man. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, man. Listen, man, today I want to go through over a few things with you real quick. Now, we're going to talk about the ignition coil and uh, how it can relate to uh, poor drivability. Actually, real poor drivability. This car came in with a... Uh, uh, she said it won't go. It won't move. No power. Shaking real bad. And what do I do when I scan it? And uh, what I come up with on my uh, scan tool is actually... Uh, P0300, uh, P0301, and P0304. Now, that tells me I got a, the computer sees uh, multiple cylinder misfire. Also, it sees a misfire in cylinder one and cylinder four. Now, this is a PT Cruiser. I've already repaired this, but I'm going to go over with y'all what, uh, you know, how you go by uh, checking it. Now, we got to keep in mind the ignition core. This is an ignition core. It uh, thing about or you the unique thing about this ignition coil on these four cylinder 2.4 liter. Uh, this again, this is a PT Cruise. I'm using as an example. There's only keep in mind this prong right here, the, the connector. There's only a three wire connector, meaning one has to be power supply, and that actually comes from the ASD relay. So when you uh, as you check in, and you find out you got a power supply, I think it's the green and orange wire to your ASD relay. Now, this core, there's only two wires left, which means these two cores are combined. Core two and three is combined, and core one and four is combined. That's how this particular engine fires. So, now, they are getting, they are getting duty cycle ground from the computer, meaning on and off, on and off, on and off, real fast. You know, whatever the computer deemed necessary to allow spark at any given time is going to give out that duty cycle ground. Now, what you can do, or how I go about checking this, is uh, on each, there's only two wires left. On each one of those, you should be getting constant ground. That's your duty cycle. So, take your test light, stick one end on the positive side, and use your probe and uh, grab the connector as, as somebody's spinning it over. You see if you're getting that uh, duty cycle ground and modulating. It should go. On up, on up, on up, on up. You getting both of those on each side? Chances are, uh, uh, the coil is internally shorted. Now, keep in mind, also I had a code P0301 and a 0304. That, my friend, is on this particular coil pack because they combine two cylinders together. They fire two cylinders at a time, obviously. So, now what you can uh. There's no assuming if you got power supply and you getting your duty cycle ground from your computer, there's nothing that's left. Your coil is internally shorted. Now, but what I want to go over with you is uh, this particular coil. It's brand new, people. It is brand new, semi brand new. It's been used a while, but it's an aftermarket coil. I talk about this all the time the importance of using OEM parts. This is the aftermarket coil. She hasn't put it on that long ago. Now, I went up to my parts department, my dealership, and got an OEM core. This is the part number. I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is part number to the OEM. That's what you should use, man. I'm sorry. Uh, now, all of, what I did was recommend she get a core, uh, get a spark plug, and go ahead and get wires while we're in there. Because, and who knows how much damage she has done to the cat converter. Because if you constantly dumping unburned fuel down in that cat, you have knocked some life off of that cat. So, if you get a P0300 on these little four-cylinder, again, this is a general video, but the car I'm using as an example is this 06 PT Cruiser. And you're getting your ground, uh, power supply and your duty cycle ground on each of the terminals. You got a, a shorted core. I've already done the repairs. Like I say, these are the parts that I use, and I'll go through on another video on how I went by to replace these parts because I want to keep this video short, all right? Uh, aftermarket, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't want to, you know, this is a slippery slope. You know, I'm not in the business of uh, uh, selling parts, but the quality, if you're chasing high quality, OEM is the best route. Now, there's some, uh, there's, I'm sure there's going to be some uh, sponsors listing their coil at the bottom of the page. If they can warrant you their cores, then go for it. I'm not saying don't buy AutoZone, Pep Boys, any of, the, any of those places. I'm not saying don't do that. Just saying, make sure they offer some type of warranty because 
There's nothing built more better quality than the OEM uh, parts, ignition coil in this case. All right, I want to keep this video short, man. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all on the next video.